Hello, Randall Monk and Rana Vazane here, coming to you with a gem of wisdom. Now, Rana, you wanted to talk about the null zone, right? I want to talk about the null zone. The null zone is big on my mind right okay, now. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about the null zone. Well, I'm in the middle of it. <laughs> so. Go ahead. Yeah, talk go about ahead. the null zone. You want me to talk about the null well, zone? Well, I'll talk about our personal null zones. You want to talk about a different one, I okay. can tell. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we talked last time about becoming a self-master, and I did mention the null zone. And so um, most of you who have been watching and listening to our Gems of Wisdom and to our webinars and reading Archangel Michael's teachings and studying other uh, heartfelt teachings of all of the other wonderful teachers and masters out there, uh, you're at the stage where you've pretty much cleared you are a self-master. And you are pretty much in control of your, you are satisfied like the, many of the relationships and those distorted memory seed atoms and those things out in your world that uh, you've carried along for a long time. And so everything as we move upward and outward into the higher frequencies, our hologram becomes much smaller and much more intense because it is lifting in frequencies and every subdimensional level has higher frequencies of intelligence, different rules, different standards, the others still apply, but they're added to, magnified, increased, and become more complex. And along with that, we become more efficient self-masters and our thoughts and our actions, our deeds and our beliefs manifest more quickly. And so, Michael hasn't talked a lot about this in the past because there were so many things to learn and understand. He didn't want it to be confusing. And he has said, I, what I, information I'm giving you is not exactly the way it is, but it's the best way I can give it to you at this time for your level of understanding. And so, as you know, in the books, they progressively expand on different things. Uh, he, he will delete some basic things that, like he says, were kind of confusing, but they were simplistic and added some more specific things so that we could integrate it and understand it. And this is the best way to turn information into knowledge and then into wisdom and then to claim it and use it. And so those of you who have balanced your heart center, pretty well open your rod of power, you're getting information directly from your endocrata and some from your heart, your, you are actively uh, functioning within the three higher levels of the fourth dimension and you're drawing or have drawn most of your soul fragment information where we we send out our soul song the resonance of our soul song we have pretty much balanced and harmonized our or you feel to a great degree and and uh, so so our uh, uh, we are now growing more and more attuned to our soul song which is the frequencies we're known by in the higher realms and so as our soul song moves up through those three higher levels, that frequency it goes out and attaches to <clears throat> those soul fragments within our soul family. And we energetically ch exchange memory seed atoms of information that are uh, applicable to us at that time or that we have not experienced personally. And just like Randy and I and my group here, we are changing atom and seed particles uh, all the time within the physical. So you might have people that you are working with that are compatible that you're doing that, but uh, Michael says you haven't experienced everything, but before you finish those higher three levels, you will get all of the information that you need to experience from your soul fragment past so you can move forward. And so with each one of those sub-levels, like when you find you, you're on a, you're on a, you're on a high, you're on a wave, you're riding a wave, and, and lots of information is coming to you and you're feeling really good and, and, and you're just really excited. And then all of a sudden you kind of go into the, go down and you go into a null zone. I, a number of times in the, in the beginning, when I was working with Michael, I'd have a group, I'd be, I'd be going really well and he'd say, it's time for you to withdraw and go into sanctuary. And so that there would be a time 
when he was working with me, and then it would be something that was higher, like with, I was just doing small seminars, like in San Diego, and, and that locally, and he took, a, we had like a hundred, over a hundred people coming once a month to gathering those, gathering of light workers, and he withdrew me from that, because that was getting ready to go out <coughs> publicly on a, on, around the world, around the country, and eventually all over the world. And so in that dull zone, you are preparing for those next higher frequencies. And so it becomes, instead of an outward focused uh, test or lessons or challenge, it withdraws mostly into you personally. It's an inside job. And so what that means is the memory seed atoms are going through us, or they're trying to, they're activating the different areas that need to be brought into harmony and our body begins to feel it and we kind of become confused and, and it's, it's an integration time as well as a releasing and cleansing time. And because before you go to the next level, you have to bring your balance, you have to begin to balance and harmonize at least those frequencies because at the next level, you, you are gonna move faster, you're gonna go deeper and you're gonna be more effective in what you create, and so you don't wanna create more chaos. Well, a lot of us, with what's happened, we, you're either in that null zone, of the, between the sixth and the seventh, or you're between the seventh, and a, a great many of the people that I work with, we are in that null zone, which is a bigger and more intense one, before you're allowed to tap into, to, we're tapping into it to a degree, with our sacred triad, but you're existing in that null zone because otherwise it would become too chaotic. <clears throat> and that null zone is the one where we say, you've pretty well cleared everything out there. So now that rod of power, you're focusing within your physical vessel and we do infinity breath, we do the sacred breathing, we breathe it in. As we keep saying, you take what you need and then radiate the rest out. Well, that powerful energy and the frequencies that we're getting now are attuned to the Kundalini, the root chakra, and those three memory seed atoms that are there with our new divine blueprint, which is preparing the way, which is giving the information, and it's giving the wisdom, the tools, and the energy to move into our fifth dimensional environment. And as you probably heard me say, there, there's a, a, a memory seed atom of, of uh, adamantine particles, there's well, our new divine blueprint, but the last one is those residual, in a memory seed atom, those residual negative, that energy, those memory seeds that are mostly to do with the physical vessel. And the people around you, you become more intuitive, you become more telepathic, and you question more, is changing radically. And that's why everybody, the discontent, and even the energy, the, 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 the weather, look how chaotic it is. We are in these intense, giant times of change. And so the David angels, all of this negativity that we're sending out, why do you think these weather patterns are so erratic and just so off the wall and so beyond what we've seen? It's because that what we're sending out there and they are trying to transmute it. Can you rise above that and begin to see that it's all in divine order? We aren't being punished and that what the dull zone, those of you who are intensely trying and you're wondering what you're doing wrong, you're not doing anything wrong. It's what you're doing right. And so, first of all, again, it's a time of virtue of selfishness. Take in what you need of that wonderful energy. Be kind to yourself. Take it and burn it through you. Share it because you can't give away what you don't have. And a self-master knows that they must love themselves first. You can't give away what you don't have. And so as you begin to love yourself and move into that sacred, the bliss of your diamond core God cell and that creator cell of your father, mother, I get, I get angel bumps and ripples of energy just saying that. You know then that you never have to look outside yourself that all the love, all the support, all the nurturing, everything you need starts there. And from there, then you begin to radiate it out. And as you empower yourself, 
your hologram, that your your that, that circle of light that you radiate out expands and expands and expands. And so, and then after it all after it's all so, then just like that rite of passage that I had in July, August, and September, and I will be publishing a book e booklet. It was amazing. And guess what? I've gone into another null zone. And so that's what you can expect. But it's all for a reason. It's a blessing. And a self-master takes advantage of it. Will you join me? Will you join me in creating and opening that, 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 that pathway for the others to follow us? Because we are way shores and we are world servers. Randy? Thanks, Rana. So uh, I'll explain a little bit about what happens to me in a null zone. First of all, it usually happens after uh, I've had some type of activation or I've been doing activations, I've been traveling or I've been teaching a workshop or something like that a lot of times. And uh, I get back home and I just don't feel like doing a darn thing. Don't feel like doing anything. And it's important to honor that. I've had people tell me, geez, I just don't feel like doing anything. Uh, and I t always tell them, honor that. That's your your body's talking to you. It's communicating with you. It's it's important to honor that feeling. And, and all of a sudden, just like that, all of a sudden I get excited about something and I'm, I'm back on track. So honor, when you feel like you don't, you don't feel like doing anything, honor that and uh, wait for that null zone to dissipate and then go for it much love and many blessings from our hearts to yours uh, we got lots of good more stuff i've gotten some much new information and we'll be sharing it so stay with us do the work um and uh, get it get on our way because we want you to we want you to be right there with us we love you we believe in you and as michael say we love you beyond measure see you next time Bye for now.